we're doing, oh, we've got this directory named wrong. Tests. <laughs> Don't see that. And, yes, running one test. That's taking such a long time. Why is that taking such a long time? <laughs> Failed. Okay, so, funny story. Um, how can we get a class name for this? I've I've forgotten something. ES6 get class name. Probably object.constructor.name. <laughs> yeah. Test failed. Probably object.constructor. There we go. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Should have just tried it before I went to Stack Overflow, but anyway. Dun 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 dun! Running test. <laughs> What's going on? Why is that not working? Uh, console log. Oh. No kidding. That's probably why. <laughs> You're just going to keep doing that if I fail the test, aren't you? <laughs> no! Oh man, this is the worst! This is the worst! Console log. <laughs> Instance. Constructor name. Exit. Return. I want it to tell me. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes, it's going to tell me. Don't do it, Jest. Don't do it. Give me the class name. Give me that class name. Where's that class name? Um. <laughs> Just stop. Just stop burning the basket. Why are you burning the basket? Why are you burning the basket? Don't burn the basket. <laughs> um, I have failed. Okay, let me go back to the interactive environment. Let me go back here. Okay. Let's comp uh, compo is that. Console log comp. Stop burning baskets. It's fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry. We'll be fine. <laughs> uh, yes, of course, we're not running serve anymore. Um, dun, dun, dun. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Loading. Object. <laughs> Ever heard of this term, uh, print our debugging? That's totally what I'm doing. Show me a useful property. Hmm? Show me a useful property. Type. Type. Name. Type name. What? <laughs> deleted link, eh? Yeah. Don't you love when deleted link gives you sass as well? I hate deleted link. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Type. For some reason, 
this seems to like type more than constructor. And I have no idea because I would have thought it was constructor and even Stack Overflow says constructor and if you can't trust Stack Overflow, who can you trust? That's where everyone gets their code from. Yes, that infamous domain console.log. <laughs> no link. No link. It's everyone who wants to go to console.log. Is that like a proper TLD? Dot log TLD. Is it? I would totally register that. Top level domain. Come on. Let there be a dot log TLD. Of course, what would the odds be that console.log would be available if there was? com.com Where's this list, man? Mm. Oh, whatever. Couldn't be bothered. <laughs> but imagine. Can you imagine? Imagine. <sighs> no, this is still being uh, a terrible, terrible human being. I was going to comment this all out and see if it does anything because I think something weird is going on here. Running one test. Don't expect function. If you expect function, you're caching and you're bad. Expected function to equal? That's not there anymore. I've just discovered something. You're not going to believe what I've just discovered. Have a look over here in my sidebar. You remember just now I renamed test to tests? Well, the moment I saved this file again, it recreated test and saved the file in there. Stupid atom. Okay, let's try this again in a file that's actually going to update. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, why am I coming in here? I need to go into here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should totally get the dot log TLD. You know how many people? Yeah, dot lol. <laughs> Atom dot lol. Atom dot lol. Yes! Success! Finally! Finally! Success! Okay. Let's close this crap. That trash can. Okay, so this works. That's pretty cool. Let's do the past. Yeah! Let's do a quick shortcut on this because um, what I can see happening often is that we have something... Okay. Oops. Burnt basket? It passed. What are you oopsing about? I'm just going to push that working test up there because you never know what might happen next. Okay. Now, a really interesting thing in React is that you can do something like create a component that has a method like on click. This doesn't actually have to relate. In fact, oh, what should I call this? I'm just going to call it on click. You know, whatever. Uh, console log this constructor name. Okay. Now, React has this really interesting thing where inline, in these markup elements, you can do something like add events. And this does not have to match this, which is why I wanted to give it a different name, but I couldn't find any name that I thought would work. 
So you can do on click equals and then a function to happen. We can say something like this on click. And what will happen is that it will, when this div is clicked on, it'll fire off this. Let's look what that looks like in a browser, <laughs> which I closed. Da, da, da. And open console so we can see something alerted. Cannot read property constructor of null. The reason it's doing that is because this is fired off in a different place. We need to do bind this, and then we will be able to do that. There we go, my component. The trouble is, if we keep on saying this on click bind this, we're going to keep on creating references. Yeah, like ng click. We're going to keep on creating references to this method each time render is called. And while I said to you, you can think of rendering happening only once because it's easy to reason about what's going on in there, render happens lots and lots of times if the components change. We don't want to keep on creating new references the whole time. So how some people get around this is by saying something like this on click bind. Uh, sorry, this on, this on click is this on click bind this. And then you can do something like this on click. And when you click on it, it'll work. Bing! It works. But this gets kind of laborious. If you have a very complex component and lots of events, you're going to be typing out a lot of boilerplate. That's kind of dumb. What you want to do is have something like uh, component. You want to create this base component in here. We can call it component because it's not going to clash because of how imports work. But then we can have a method in here called bind. And we can bind those methods in here programmatically so that we don't have to do that each time we want to bind stuff in here. What would be far easier for us in our custom components is if in instead of redefining onclick, if we said this bind onclick. And we just listed out as a set of parameters, the methods we want to bind, and that we don't have to type this whole long string, because that gets kind of dumb. So, I'm going to leave this here as kind of a blueprint for what we want to do. And in here, instead of importing React, we want to import component from component. Now, we're probably going to clash here. We're probably going to clash here. What we maybe want to do is start a start a component and we maybe want to change the aliases in here a little bit. Anyway, I'll put this here and leave the rest of that. And here, uh, here I'll just change the aliases quickly. So we can do something like start a component, is source my component, and start a my component, is source my component. The names could maybe be a little bit clearer, but this is the basic idea. As you add more classes that need to be imported in the dynamic loading system, you add them to this map. And when you have a builder, you just bundle all JavaScript in source together, or select an initial entry point like main.js and have that pull in dependencies. It's really easy to set that up, but we're not going to do that now. What we want to do uh, is it is this here as well. Start in my component. And now we should have a problem because we've defined on bind, but it's not actually binding anything yet. It should still render my component out. Oops, except for that error. <laughs> What's that error? I've forgotten a comma or something. Must be. Must be. Yes. Okay. So now we can still click on this, but we're not. It should. What? Why is it not rendering? Interesting. Uh, component, import React from React, my component. What's it trying to import? Examples, React, React, JS. Examples, React, React, DOM. What's going on here? That's really interesting. <laughs> yeah. Burn those baskets, man. Burn those baskets. Import component from starter component.